Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's birth video. We're a 12Z roundup for today's uh, third video. So we're going to go through all of the 12s there. East and last model just updating uh, right now. We'll go through all of the 12s there and uh, see what they're showing. So uh, hang around and uh, we're going to see what's happening in terms of the models predicting the chance or not of a prolonged cold spell. Just to say about the first video, as I say, was our 6 UK weather forecast. And we've also released a 10 to 14 there with all of the regular features. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. So, show you one for dear Matt for Gals Weather then. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, so uh, we're not going to talk about anything else. Just go through the models very, very straightforwardly. We're going to start off with the... Uh, <coughs> oh, sorry, everyone. We're going to start off with UK Met Euro. Let's enable... The, no, let's go to 72 hours. And we'll, we'll enable the hover. Here we go, Ben. So uh, this is how the UK Met Euro Trails that is looking for um, midday on Thursday. High pressure out to the west, bringing winds down from the north, looking cold as we come to the end of the week. Then low pressure pulling further, uh, high pressure pulling further west, and low pressure moving into Scotland on Saturday. That could bring some significant snow into the north. And then low pressure looks like it's about to start attacking from the Atlantic uh, into Sunday. That's coming into cold air, trying to introduce milder air from the south, but the low stalls, and so as we get to 168 hours, the uh, UK Met is more or less keeping it cold. Probably turns it mild in the south, but I think overall UK Met 168 hours is a pretty cold. So you see that yellow to green line there, anywhere to the south of that line, it's going to rain. Anywhere to the north of that line, it could snow, and obviously it's a long way off, so we need to firm up about that. But I think the UK Met is pretty much... <coughs> So sorry, everyone. I think the UK is pretty much keeping it cold uh, to 168 hours. Right, that starts us off. Icon next. Icon's had a big wobble with this cold spell. Let's see what it's doing for 12 days. So winds in from the north on Thursday. High pressure out to west. Low pressure is uh, to the east. Um, um, high pressure reaching into the west of Europe through the early part of uh, next week. Low pressure trying to, through the weekend, I should say, low pressure trying to attack from the Atlantic. Um, but much further south of that area of low pressure on the ICON model. So that eventually could bring a very significant snow event to southern parts of the country, particularly Wales and Midland, maybe you know, a bit further south from that on Sunday. And then that gets out of the way and it leaves us in a run of cold northerly winds. Much, much colder and much more wintry Icon 12Z compared to the midnight run. Icon is back on track with a cold spell. Right, let's have a look at the GFS. And again, we've got winds coming in from the north on Thursday with high pressure west and low pressure to our east and northeast. What happens after that? Well, we find that the uh, low pressure with ICOT, with the GFS, that low pressure gets nowhere close to us. That low pressure on Sunday is down towards the Bay of Biscay and northern parts of uh, Spain. So uh, GFS, it came back into line with its operational runs, actually, uh, uh, yesterday. Yesterday on the 12th after the 6th uh, wobble and uh, pretty rock solid I have to at the moment with GFS operationals. So um, that's very straightforwardly really cold northerly wind big blocking area of high pressure going up to Greenland um, and you know a direct northerly with GFS keeping it very cold into uh, in towards day 10. The high pressure then starts to slip a little bit further southward. Possibly turn a bit less cold around day 10 itself. But check this out. The high pressure ain't going back to Greenland. And we start to uh, bring even colder air in from the northeast. So check that out. By the time you get through. Long way out now. So this is all uh, for fun. But by the time you get through to like the 13th, 14th of January. We're really looking very, very cold indeed. And probably very snowy. That area of low pressure down to the south. West, right at the very end might start turning a bit milder that's like two weeks away so <laughs> it's hardly worth worrying about but gfs is in line for a prolonged spell of uh, cold weather one thing we haven't shown you uh recently on the uh videos is the strat chart but i will show you that with the 12z as well on the 12z round while we wait for the ecm to fully update so uh, we want to go to uh northern hemisphere we want to go to 10 hpa 
This is for Jeff S12 then, from a, from a stratospheric uh, perspective and point of view. He's blue because he's the cold temperatures at 10 HPA in the Arctic and uh, over the North Pole. So that's for stratospheric polar vortex, essentially. So in the next few days, we are going to get quite a significant significant warming of the stratosphere over Siberia. You see those uh, green, yellow and orange colours really gathering pace there over Siberia. A bit of a displacement event of the polar vortex side to push it over towards the Canadian, North American side of the uh, pole. Now as we go into the extended range with this GFS from that to stratospheric warming intensifying further and that is the kind of temperature level that we look to for an SSW. So uh, for a, from a temperature point of view that is reaching SSW sudden stratospheric warming temperature levels. It probably is a stratospheric, sun stratospheric warning at that point because the zone of wind wouldn't have reversed. So have an SSW, go reverse the zone of wind at 10, 8, 8, 60 degrees north. But the, the temperature is reaching the required level that I look for there. Very, very, very significant warming of the stratosphere. Looks like an SSW into the second week of January. And uh, that warming maintained right way through 15th of January, as far as get you with that GFS run. The polar vortex at that point, stratospheric polar vortex, under a lot of pressure being displaced to North America, Greenland, uh, Atlantic and Northern uh, Europe. <clears throat> Excuse me, if we go on another couple of days, maybe we would see the, uh, the, the obliteration of PV card state speculation. But certainly, that is a very, very significant warming. And I reckon by that point, 15th January, we'll probably be seeing uh, a reversal of the zone of wind there at 10 HPA, 60 degrees north. We're getting very close to it anyway. So a really, really significant uh, stratospheric warming there on the GFS 12Z. If you're enjoying this 12Z uh, roundup, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers and get them to subscribe to. And thank you so much everyone for doing that. Right, okay, GM. Uh, next up with winds in from the north on Thursday. Uh, we go into the weekend. That low could bring significant snow to Scotland on Saturday. Um, otherwise, going to be cold and frosty. That low pressure, again, much further south was with the GEM. So, uh, it might bring some snow into extreme southern counties, but basically below, looks like it's heading for the Bay of Biscay and uh, into parts of France. That keeps us cold, keeps winds in from the north right way through to the start of next week. That's the 6th of January. Then the high pressure sort of topples in over the country. So it will still be cold under that area of high pressure, but that's like frosty standard cold, not northern blocking. However, I think um, the gem is still going for quite a prolonged cold spell. And then finally, we've got the uh, ECM. So uh, let's check that one out. Just updating as we've been talking. And again, we've got now, of course, ECM has had a big wobble over the last couple of days. Started yesterday, 12 days, carried on with this morning's midnight run. So let's see if the ECM is back in line with the cold spell. So uh, we've got high pressure in the Atlantic, low pressure in Scandinavia on Thursday. Bring the wind in from that cold northerly direction. Cold on Friday. And then low pressure and Saturday, then low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. Now, the ECM is still much, much further north and much deeper with that area of low pressure from Saturday to Sunday compared to any other model tonight. So that brings a big warm sector into the south, that bring heavy rain, which of England where probably will bring a significant snow for, um, for southern Scotland, maybe Northern Ireland and Northern England. But how far north the ECM has got that area of low pressure compared to all of the other model output, which is much further south with that low. I'm a bit sceptical about the ECM, I have to say. It is rated as the best model. We do rate the ECM as the best, but it is not flawless. Sometimes it does get things wrong in these cold and complicated patterns. I think this might be one of those occasions where it's getting it wrong compared to all of the other model output. Let, but let's see. Now, we go through to 168 hours. That's it. But below pressure moving to North Sea. And cold rest starts to come back southwards on its eastern side. That is... Um, next Tuesday, 7th of January. Then we're back into cold air uh, from the north. That's day uh, nine, so still cold there. This low might bring some snow to the south. 
And then finally, that is uh, day 10, which is uh, Thursday the 9th of January. Still looking cold up to that point. So, a um, bit of an interruption to the cold weather over the weekend. And I say, I'm quite curious about that. I reckon it might correct that low pressure southwards in subsequent runs. And then keeping things cold uh, through to uh, through most of next week, up to day 10 anyway. We're still looking uh, pretty cold there. That's how the upper air temperatures look at day 10, firmly into the cold air. Um, I'll just have a quick look at the AI uh, ECM, if that's all right. So that hasn't updated for the 12s there, but my good friend Send It, Send It, Send It's Weather Channel has been talking about me, um, uh, has been talking about the artificial intelligence version of the, the ECM model. Um, and the reason it has it's been talking about that is that the uh, artificial, the AI version of the, the ECM model has not wobbled particularly, I don't think. So let's just quickly look at this. This is the weekend. And, uh, yeah, look how much further south was the AI version of the ECM is with that low pressure on Sunday. Remember, the, uh, the, the general, the generic ECM is bringing that right into Ireland and the UK. The AI version has it going down towards the Bay of Biscay and northern parts of, uh, of uh, France there. Uh, North part of Spain, I should say. So, uh, the consequent upshot of that is we keep winged in from the north, bitterly calm, with the AI ECM um, right away beyond day 10, really, only right at the very end as it starts to collapse the ridge. So, uh, basically, the AI version of the uh, ECM keeps, it, keeps a good week, maybe more of, of calm and wintry weather game. That was the six there. AI uh, version. We haven't got 12 said uh, yet, but uh, maybe we'll start including both <laughs> versions of the ECM, like like the computer model and the AI uh, model. Maybe we'll start including both of them in the video. Just have a quick look at GFS ensembles before we go. Why don't we do that? So looking pretty good there for a prolonged spell of cold weather. Obviously, you are going to get one or two runs that are doing something a little bit uh, differently, those ones up there. But basically, the majority of the GFS ensembles are back now after their wobble yesterday into uh, predicting a spell of prolonged cold and potentially wintry weather at least a week, possibly 10 days. Uh, but pretty cold conditions showing up there. Now, precipitation spikes as well. So maybe a chance of a little bit of snow in some places. That's how uh, snow road is looking. There are snow spikes there. And obviously that is the sort of detail that we've got to firm up on. That's Birmingham looking pretty good as well uh not quite so many down in london right okay that is your 12z uh 12z uh model roundup if you have enjoyed this uh, video be please like share and subscribe and show you doing that and we'll be back with more tomorrow on new year's eve you enjoy the rest of your monday and for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching